Hello YouTube, it's good to see you guys. Today, I want to clear up some issues I had with the 1911 pistol. This is a Rock Island Armory GI um, 1911 pistol, chambered in 45 ACP. Uh, I had reported some issues at the range, and I did in fact have these issues. However, I consider them irrelevant. Um, I have been babied by, my first gun was a Glock 17. So, I mean, you can shoot a Glock all day long, you can get it dirty, you can leave it dirty. It's going to be reliable. Uh, not every firearm is that way. Um, the stoppages I had at the range with this firearm all occurred uh, with at least 80 rounds fired, if not more. So, basically, when the ramp gets dirty on this thing, uh, you may have a failure to feed. An easily correctable failure to feed. That's the experience that I've had with this firearm during the break-in period. The manufacturer figures you ought to fire 500 rounds through this gun just to break it in, uh, during which period you may have some stoppages. Um, during that break-in period, I had some insignificant stoppages, only you know 80 plus rounds fired out of the gun, which in my book is irrelevant because you know, if you have to fire 80 rounds to defend yourself, you probably, you know, you probably should have run away. You probably did something wrong. I mean, you know, most th most situations are going to be done uh, well within one magazine, even these little eight-round magazines. Um, so, I mean, my experience with this firearm uh, has been flawless. I mean, for practical purposes, it's been flawless. I mean, you know, it's it's almost done with the break-in. I fired probably a good 400 rounds through it. And, uh, you know, negligible stoppages, uh, extremely accurate, amazing trigger. It's a single-action trigger. Uh, the action is smooth as glass uh, on a you know, budget 1911 pistol. I mean, I couldn't possibly be happier with the firearm. Uh, just wanted to clear that up because I did report the stoppages. But, I mean, I probably wouldn't have even mentioned them had I really thought about it. Um, again, I mean, my, my first firearm was a Glock 17. And, you know, if you want to compare reliability of a 100-year-old design uh, on the cheap, with a Glock 17, I mean, that's just not even fair. So, I mean, this is a great firearm. It's probably only going to get better. I mean, I, I might not even have any stoppages even past 80 rounds once I break in the magazines. I mean, once the magazines, you know, lose a little bit of that, that really tight tension that they come with from the factory, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if I have zero stoppages out of uh, this thing every time I go to the range. So, uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I appreciate your company.